teeth come in all shapes and sizes. And to paleontologists, they offer a unique way to study the distant past. They don't decompose. Skin decomposes. Organs and brains, soft tissues decompose. Teeth, they're the hardest parts of animals. Because of that, they tend to be preserved in the fossil record more than almost any other piece of an animal's body. So when we look at the fossil record of mammals, it's almost exclusively for certain time periods a fossil record of teeth. And we can tell a lot from teeth. One of the great anatomists of all time was Baron Georges Cuvier, who lived in Paris in the mid-1800s, who was remarkably important, remarkably smart, and remarkably arrogant. He had a boast, and his boast was, show me the tooth of any animal, and I can reconstruct its entire skeleton. Turns out Cuvier was pretty much right. And here's a tooth. This is a huge tooth, clearly came from a big animal. Flat surface on top, that animal clearly chews plant material. What is a big animal that eats plants? An elephant. Here's another one. Large canines, big scissor-like teeth in the back. This creature clearly, you know, is built to eat meat. This is a lion. So teeth contain so many answers to the basic biology of creatures. You see, if you found a good set of fossilized teeth, you know something about what that creature ate. That can yield clues to the habitat they lived in, as well as some of their behaviors. The size and shape of teeth also tell you about jaw, skull, and even body size, adding to the amazingly detailed picture you can paint from just one tooth.